Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Working, Working on, on it. it. New studio, new us. New studio, who it is? Change. This episode, <laughs> we're going to be talking all about change. Yeah, exciting stuff. We're going to have our guest uh, Tommy Bruce back in action. And the fave. He's, he's just the best, dude. He really just tells he's it how it is. He gives us life lessons every single time he's on. He's so smart. Um, What's going on in your life? I'm, at, I'm okay. bleeding. Okay, you're bleeding. I'm feeling like a human finally. It's taken. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. It's taken. So this is five months sober now, right? Yeah. Is that what we? Yeah. Yeah. June first till now, so five months. Yeah. So I haven't felt like a human for about four months, and then the, these last couple weeks, I'm like, <sighs> okay. What does feeling like a human mean? Like um, normal? Yeah. Well, for I don't really know what normal feels like. I feel like I'm a crazy person, but I <laughs> I I feel uh yeah, just like here, present, uh, happy. Wow. I feel good. Like that doing this podcast was such a nightmare for me because I didn't have my medicine, right? So I signed oh. up to do this podcast when I had my medicine, and then we yes. jump into this. I'm withdrawing from all the drugs, all the booze, and I'm like, this is my act. This is my nightmare. I don't know how to be a person. And now I'm just, I'm fucking feeling good. Ah, change. Yeah. It's all right. It could be all the marathon training and then like, you know, taking care of myself. Wow, that makes me so happy. Every day I, you're I, like, yeah. I don't know how to be a person. No, I feel good. Wow. It, because Welcome. it was serious, dude. Like, yeah, that's so hard. I, I, I applaud anybody that's, you know, sobering up. It's, it's pretty hard. Like, I understand why people just dive back into it because you don't feel, you don't feel like you are a part of this world like you yeah. don't belong like and you're you like belong. i don't know i don't i don't know it's good. so impressive how you you truly like which is not you've made it look easy because you didn't go to rehab you didn't get any help you just like did it cold turkey yeah um just love you guys love my mama <laughs> mama's been making you cookies and too that's yeah, why she makes me cookies she's like good job being <laughs> good sober job. for a month here's a cookie here's your oatmeal cookies <laughs> thanks mommy <laughs> And, my and dad bread. and papa comes over and makes you pizza. Dude, I've been doing these cooking streams with GT. They're so oh my good. god, bro. Check me he's on a Twitch. Star. And J Train. <laughs> J Train got involved, although he's a little camera shy. Dude, what a bitch. <laughs> yeah, too. but it's comedy gold. It like, is. And everyone's like, I Him fucking being love J Train. Yeah. I'm like, look at the camera. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> Fuck bitch. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just like hyped on feeling good. I'm um I'm, uh, I had a tough week with, you know, the COVID scare. Yeah, so, I mean, do you want to talk about that? Sure. Um, you just, like, can't trust anything ever. It's hard. These We test everyone at work, um, and I shot a commercial, and I test everyone PCR, expensive, like, Yeah, like, very super legit. Legit test. Everyone's like, the vaccinated. Night, the like... night before, everyone's negative. And then we worked together the day of. We didn't test the day of, but we tested the night before because we're like, where are you going to go in these next few hours? Yeah. You're going to bed. And we worked all day together. And at the end of the day, at 10 p.m., I get a call from my manager, Tommy, of like, hey, Dimitri, a hairstylist who you all love and adore, got COVID and is positive for COVID. And I was like, you mean the man I was with all day today who was touching my face and my hair? Yeah, and you don't, have, you don't wear a mask because you're the star. I don't wear a mask because I was the star. I was doing the commercial, and I literally started scream crying. And I've never had COVID, and I've been so scared, but I didn't know how really scared I was until <laughs> this moment. Dude. I was like, he's in my mouth. Like, yeah. I, like, got away from Daryl. I put a mask on. I slept in a different room, like, yeah. for five days straight. Didn't go near my son. Like, it was hard. Dude, so you called me, fa you FaceTime me while I was on Twitch, and I'm playing a game where it's, it's actually, you would love it. It's like a movie, th and you decide what to do. Love and that. we're at the very end. <laughs> oh, God. And that's you FaceTime me. You. Sobbing. And, and, uh, and you're like, are you streaming? I'm like, yeah. And I mute it. <laughs> and you're telling me this, and I'm trying to, like, keep a cool face because I'm, I'm panicking. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Like, it's happening. It's happening. And, <laughs> and I'm like, but immediately I'm like, it's going to be fine. I go into like, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah, you were very calm. 
Yeah, because that's my only. That's all I can do is I just try to just stay. I just stay calm. But inside, I'm like, oh fuck. Because I also I, it would just like it would be insane if you got COVID. Yeah. And then so then I had to go back to the stream, and they're like, is everything okay? Like in the chat, I'm like, yeah, yeah, fine. Just uh, got a call. It was work. And I had to just like finish it, but I'm like, fuck. That's why I texted you after my stream. I'm like, hey, I hope Tommy made you feel better. Like, it's gonna you be were okay. So sweet. You're like, I'll go to Air I was like, I'll go. Yeah, anything. I'll to get anything you need. <laughs> Dude, he got sick. Like he had Delta. Uh, uh, Dimitri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's feeling better, and I luckily have been tested every single day. Negative, negative. We all, even Riley, got tested, and he got a little thing in his oh, mouth. Oh man, he was cute. He was like. <laughs> but yeah we're finally in the clear but so the he... fear man i gotta go to a therapist of i gotta ask my therapist of like hey how do i live in this world like how do i live in this world and not freak yeah because I, I turn it in just like it's gonna be fine i don't and know what that it's is days dude i yeah. spent like five days away from my son like daryl was a single parent he's yeah. like guess i'll put him to bed myself again <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i was like you got it yeah but yeah, it's it's a spooky world and it's still very real. And now we're testing everyone like twice day of. Like, yeah, I think there's like pretty legit PCR tests that are out now that you can. Yeah, you can we're get. buying a machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a, yeah. Are we allowed to say that? Um, I'm buying yeah. a machine that can test yeah, you not? at my house. Yeah, just to be safe. <laughs> Spent thousands. I yeah. don't care. Also, I'm getting the booster uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I'm getting I a Moderna booster. Moderna booster. Mixing it with the J and J. It's yeah, a little hybrid. He got the Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Wasn't the smartest. Dude, it works movie. fine. I went to Florida. You survived. I did. It works. <sighs> I'm a Moderna gang. Um, same with my husband and Justin, and mom and dad. So, yeah, I was the only yeah, judge. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting our boosters very soon. Poor Dimitri is gonna get his booster on Thursday. That's crazy to me. And he got it. But other than that, we're we're great. We're rolling. We're here. Yeah, we're doing We're in it. the new spot. The new spot. All white, everything. And then if you see some other episodes that come out later on with the old spot, you know, you just Less deal with it. <laughs> there's like a yeah, sibling. Yeah, watching on one. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple that might still have the green screen. It's fine, okay? Just know that we're this here now. This is the new crib. This is us now. We're in the studio. Uh, and today we're talking about change. Ch -ch -ch change Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We have a lovely guest, Tommy Bruce. But before we bring in Tommy Bruce, I would love to watch a couple fan submissions. Yes, please. I went through a bunch, did you? Yes, there's so many for anxiety. It's oh. unreal. It's my forte. Here we go. So we got uh, Gino Rodriguez sending in a lovely video here. Okay, this question is for both Megan and Ryan. Um, I just moved to Tampa, Florida from my hometown, which is south of Chicago. Um, I moved a thousand miles away from my family and like everything that was normal to me. Um, I know you guys moved to LA. Um, were there any anxieties that came with moving to LA? And if so, how did y'all deal with them? Ask him for a friend. Just Aww. kidding. Asking for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Love you know. So this is a big change. Now it's I, a big change. I can re uh, relate to this cause I, I went from Massachusetts to Tampa, Florida. Now, luckily for me, at my college, there was a lot of kids from the Northeast, so it, it kind of felt like home. I, you know, I found kids from Connecticut, um, Philly, some Massachusetts, New York. Uh, so Tampa is actually a good city to be in if you're from. There's also a bunch of people from Chicago. Yeah, there's a bunch of like East Coast. Yeah, so you you know you'll, you'll find, find you'll find your people. It's the same thing with us moving to LA. So it takes a while, but. You know, either friends move out to where you are or you, you do truly find your people and it does take time. So be patient with it and don't, you know, I've, I've been alone for the past like few months and it was actually very good for me. Sometimes you got to dive yeah. into just being okay with being by yourself. I moved to Nashville when I was 19 years old. And lived Whoa. in my own little apartment by myself. Yeah, so like, yeah, no college. Just... Yeah, so like that was terrifying. But I would like hang out with one friend who would take me to a party and I'd meet two other friends and I would pick the good ones. Yeah, And I'd be like, go. stick with me. And I'd make friends that way. Or in my career, my job, I would, like I had a songwriting session with Lauren Elena and I was like, you're my new friend. And you find people that you love and like yeah. can make a life with And you'd be there. surprised, I mean- Jump out of your comfort zone. Just go to a place by yourself. Go to a bar by yourself. And See, that's scary. 
to me. That's scary. Really? But, like Daryl. Well, I guess I did it all the time. Like, dude, the amount of times Daryl took himself to a movie by himself is terrifying. Well, that's like to his me. like little zen. But like spot. you know when people say, "Oh, I love taking myself to dinner." Tommy loves yeah. taking himself to dinner. Would never. It's the best. I'd ma- I'd rather eat Not, toast with butter. Like when we moved to, <laughs> I didn't I didn't do it here, but when we first moved to Toluca Lake, I immediately go to the local bar and I just start chatting people up. Hey, just moved in town. How you doing? And I I just like became a regular at For- Foreman's Tavern, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> like just go in and just ta- Find chat you people a tavern. up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, or you know, go to the local gym. Yes. Go to the library, yes. maybe if you you don't want some I knowledge. Would say, do things that scare you, and you'll find friends. Yeah. All Love right, next. Hope we helped you. <laughs> We're trying here. This is. <laughs> I know this queen, Macy. Macy yeah. Oh my god, I met Macy years ago. Okay, play. Macy. Hey Megan. Hey Ryan. It's Macy Hi. coming to you from my college dorm room. Wow. I'm currently awesome. a junior in college this year, which junior means I only college. have three semesters left before I'm going to graduate, which is terrifying. And since being in college, I have had a lot of change happen. When I first came to college, I was set on going to med school and becoming either an anesthesiologist or a neurosurgeon because why wouldn't She's I become a, a brain surgeon? Yep. But I have so changed brain that. Um, I now don't want to go to med school anymore. And That's I'm planning on okay. pursuing a master's in forensics and Whoa. doing something in the forensic What's field. That? Um, forensics, bro. Which is scary because, you know, I've gone my whole life thinking I'm going to become a doctor and. I'm not, and I'm kind of lost because I don't know who to talk to or She's just so smart. where to look to explore the forensic field. So that's so cool, that's dude. Been that a big was change my f- in my life. Awesome. That was my favorite like class forensic. in high school, dude. Law and order. Ba, ba, ba. <gasps> find, find the murder. Oh dude, my this god, is your that's drink. my dream job. Forensics. forensics. <laughs> Is it forensics? Um, forensic. Macy, I love the fact Macy. that you were just like, hey, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Switching it up. I think this is going to be great I love that. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. I think that's badass. Also, I'm so jealous, bro. This is the also, yeah, thing. she's like, she's an old soul. And I yeah. met her at such a young age. I'm pretty sure she came up to me and was like, I just had brain surgery. And I was like, what? Or like she was about to or yeah. something. And I was like, you're the bravest little girl I've ever met. So crazy. So she's already lived 100 lives and like tackled the hardest things ever. I'm so like... I'm so proud of her. She's so smart, man. She's yeah, just she, like, you're, you're good. I don't want to go to medical school, but yeah. I could. But like, I'm going to go to forensics. Like, what? That's awesome. Yeah, I switched my major like four times and then I don't do anything with that. But forensics, you're, she's going to be locked in. But listen to your heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You did. You changed correctly. Correct. That's going to be way more fun. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Is it like you're a detective for murders, or is it's it forensics? So it's like fingerprints. Is it all crime? Let's, oh, let's... forensic. Jesus. <sighs> But that's what I'm saying is like when you're a doctor, you got to help keep them alive. This case, they already did. Is that dark? That Yeah, we're, detection of a crime. Oh, love it. I want to be this. I'm not smart enough. You don't even know what it was. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> this what do you is think? it. This I is look me. at fingerprints. <laughs> oh, my God. She's going to be so cool. So dope. I like this Thank career you, for you. Yeah. I know I don't have a say in what you should do in your life, but this is pretty cool. No, nah, but that's just a great case of... Uh, change is you, good it's okay to switch it up last minute you're gonna give family closure yeah family's closure amazing yes. thank you for those submissions again you thank can just you send those into working on a pod and also if you're not comfortable with the video you can send a, a lovely message and we'll, we'll, we'll read, read it. that yeah um cool love so, those yeah so now we should get tommy in Let's get Tommy in. Five, six, seven, eight. Your favorite guest, you requested him back, so we pulled him back. This is Tommy Bruce. Tommy Bruce. My manager, but most importantly, my best friend. My mentor. My my guardian angel. Hi, gang. He's over Zoom right now because he's super important and super busy um, (laughs) making the world a better place. But we got him over Zoom. Zoom. I'm like in the next room. I just like the... The zoom yes. lighting. <laughs> it's your skin looks flawless. You're gorgeous. Thank you. It's all my hydration. Yes. So proud of is you. Is that what it is? Because I don't know how you stay glowing because you pretty much have to hide in hotels. I do hide in hotels and I uh, don't sleep at all. I'm telling you hydration. I live and die by, but <clears throat> that's okay. another episode. 
<laughs> Love it. <laughs> so we're talking um, about change, change today. Change. Yes. Oh, God, we're the same person. I feel like we could jump in uh, right away to uh, how tour life has changed, how the whole process of Ooh, going around there. the world and, you know, having artists sing their songs and trying to fill up arenas safely and efficiently. Um, the core of it, which is the show, like when you're sitting there and watching the show, that feels the same. Every single thing around it is completely different because of COVID protocols and trying to protect people and bands and crews and artists while they're on the road. So it's, uh, a, <clears throat> you know, you have to either be vaccinated or tested to get into venues. You need to be wearing masks inside. Your all of the crews and all of the band were as we move around the country where previously, you know, Ryan, when we would be on tour with Megan, we would go back to a hotel and then immediately go out to have dinner and then probably walk around, pop into some shops. Yeah, you got to peep, peep yeah. the scene, dive into the culture, see what's going on. Celebrate yeah. your hard work. Now you literally just <laughs> stay inside your hotel or the venue. You can go for walks outside. But like in order to keep these things moving, we're living in such intense covid bubbles yeah um that that part is incredibly different it like creates this tour already for people that haven't been on tour like you're already in a weird space and time continuum of you don't know what day it is you don't know where you are yeah you know you look at people that are on the road and you're like oh they get to be in this city in this city how cool how great it's like, no, but you could tell us we're in paris or in cleveland and we would know no difference because yeah. we're underground into an arena and then we're outside and then we're into a hotel and then we're calling it a day and nobody knows what's happening but the shows I, are amazing i kind of lived like that when i was on tour yes yeah this sounds like megan's it dream sounds tour. like like my <laughs> yeah because if we finished a, a show and everyone wanted to go out, I'm like, I'm tired. I'm not allowed to drink. I'd be like, I'm yo, gonna, Megan, come on. Let's go. I go to the hottest be, spot. We get a table. Let's go. Dude, I was like, I can't be hungover and then try to pull off a show. Yeah. I did it no. once. It was miserable. My meet and greet, I was like, wow. I'm like, hi to yeah. little children. And I probably yeah. stunk. Um, but yeah, so now uh, I definitely took that life for granted, though, of like traveling everywhere and like going out when I could. Because now yeah. it, but there's even probably going no to such a restaurant. Thing. Yeah. Even the heart, you know what? The hardest thing is also working out because yes. we can't go into gyms with other people. It doesn't matter if we're masked or not because yeah, you just you don't know. You have to be safe. Creative. Yeah. So it's a lot of outside, which is mostly great, but now it's getting cold. But again, with the shows, it's all worth it. There's like so much pent up energy for shows right now and like I'm for jealous. people to be together. I think I'm jealous that you're touring now instead of summer because whenever I toured, it was always summer. <laughs> oh my god, and it was so hot. So hot. <laughs> Why and do you I wear so many clothes. clothes. So I wear so, so many, many clothes. Many clothes. I, I yeah. covered myself on those tours with long yeah. dresses. Which, we're gonna do. We got to do a whole episode of tour life. Yeah. Is pretty much. Oh, what for it's sure. Exa- it's Groundhog Day and it's exhausting and it's like. But the moments when you're on stage, you're like, this one hour is worth it, you know. And then the rest yeah. is like really hard Groundhog Day. It's kind of like what you described, what they say about um, women in birth, where like there's a lot of pain to like get there and go through the birth. But then like your brain erases it once you perform or give birth and have the baby because you're like, this part's worth it. Got to do it again. Erasing everything else. We got to do it again. Yes. And I'm not Uh, obviously we're not the ones on stage, but I can only imagine what that's like. Probably get like crazy Uh, high adrenaline rush. Yeah. It's like a. Everybody loves me. It's a weird, like, <laughs> narcissistic. Love, is that the love. word? No, you know what it is? <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not even narcissistic. It's like energy. Everyone has the same energy yeah. for yeah. the same music. But like, it's, it's a good, it's okay, a good experience. You know what it's like? Have you ever had a good experience with when a bunch of people sang happy birthday to you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you were younger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> it's nice. that for an hour. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. It's your birthday every night. That's it's what it is. a great way to put it. But you're not well, embarrassed and, and you're like, yeah. hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you're a songwriter, so they're singing your songs yeah. back to you. Right. Like, that's that a is, whole other level. You see it birth whole, from the studio. Oh, my yeah. God. If you ever created someone and people, you'll see it soon with the podcast, like fans reacting and stuff. But right. if you ever created some something and someone loves it so much and you're like, oh, it came from my brain. Sick. It's the coolest yeah. thing ever. Yeah. Um, change. Change. Uh, I guess. We changed. Yeah. Oh I mean, we multiple stages of change okay so like from nantucket island just we were i was an island boy island boy and then we go to cape cod which is pretty much you know dad be like welcome to america yeah that was, that was a change you know immediately 
in those moments of change where you guys like did you embrace terrified? the change or you i was very i hated it i hated it. i wanted to be a nantucket whaler i was gonna play football and these just, were the so enemies had, was it it was because you already had a plan and expectation and that was changed so there's no way that change could have been yeah it was just like i had a good system going freshman right. year in high he school and then you know I played football throughout the fall that so I let, hit that first semester and then the second half of freshman year they were like we're gonna move we're moving for your second half of freshman yeah, year yeah it so wasn't I, like in the summer we moved it was years. like we yeah, yeah, deep yeah. in it also what but was then, tough for you especially is like you had good grades you were in <laughs> sports you were had the, you were popular goes to a school his grades Nossett's very smart Nossett's a mm. good school compared to Nantucket so I mean, it's like high school, you great like, school, but well, not. You were in like, honors, and then you were like, <laughs> I, I kept taking, I kept going into classes. Like I was like in Spanish three, <laughs> in Nantucket, and then I get to Nosset in Spanish three, and they're only speaking Spanish. I go, I, I had to get out of this class. <laughs> <laughs> like there was a lot that had to change, which sucked at that yeah. age. I was in middle school. Hello, I got like pushed into lockers. Oh, I can't even like, imagine. Side checked. I was like, oh no. I guess eighth grade is <laughs> eighth probably grade was even horrible, worse, dude. <laughs> It was so sad, and nobody wanted to be my friend, and I had bangs. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wore headbands every day. I was like, no, I don't, no, I don't. Yeah, it was just constant fear and anxiety of that like, was... how do I get these people to like me? I'm just, yeah. we're just the outsiders. That was you the know? hardest change, I think. Do you look back on? How do you guys look back on that change now, though? Do you look oh, back very on grateful, it? Very, very grateful. Very grateful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it's worth like it. the most common denominator of change is that right. it's like petrifying and so scary because of the unknown. But 99% of the time, that change brings a much yes. better yes. version of ourselves. 100%. Yeah. Like you have my to... favorite thing in life as an adult is do things that scare you. Yeah. Because yes. something good will always come of it. But and that, that was, was a change first... in who you were that happened yeah. like in the last three years. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. do things that I would scare you. I feel like you went person, and you yeah. were like, oh, oh, yeah. I'm going to like embrace this world of I'm doing things that scare me. How did yeah. you even come to that? Oprah. Mm-hmm. Really? Really? Um, yeah. I think I was watching a bunch of Oprah while in quarantine, you know, and being pregnant and looking up everything. And she was like, she said something like, do things that scare you and talked about being nervous. And she was mm. like, she had a person in the audience stand up and ask questions. And she was like, are you nervous right now? And she was like, I'm terrified. And she's <laughs> like, I'm not nervous because I've done this every day. I know I can do this. This is the mm. first time you ever spoke on television. She's like, that's what nerves is for me. If I'm doing something brand new that I've never done, I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. Like my first day on Top Chef, I was like, oh my God, yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah. Day two, I was like, let's rock, hit it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. But that excites me now. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's good to embrace those feelings. You like, it's tough to in the moment to be grateful for those feelings. But if you go into something and feel nothing, like what's the point of it? You know, you yeah. gotta like. I, I I love that rush now. Like this is terrifying. Dive right in. Because then also when you conquer it, you're like, did it? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. another achievement you can celebrate. I don't know where it stems from, but I definitely remember hearing multiple times in life, like if you don't feel uncomfortable at least one time a day you're not challenging yourself like oh. if you're not putting yourself Ooh. into a position where you're like "Ooh, this doesn't feel like what not uncomfortable in a bad way uncomfortable yeah. in like a you're pushing yourself way my workout this morning hello yeah i was yeah. like that counts this might be too much weight <laughs> <laughs> yeah but don't hurt she's yourself like, bro she's like now nah, you've got exactly like, that kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please don't hurt yourself there is this i've been doing a lot of um pilates while we're on the road and Ooh. they always say they're like they're like push through push through this isn't just a physical workout this is a mental push through take this with you in your life yeah. and i legitimately have like i've done it so much that it's out ingrained in my head that there's moments yes. where i'm like oh i hate this i hate this i hate this but i'm like push through it'll be worth it it'll be worth it it'll be worth it and it all it truly almost always is worth it yeah like, i feel like a, you learned that in barry's boot camp bro you you that also berries. Berries. Dude, also that place, berries. they kept berries. saying that to me. I'm like, I'm going to die. I here. couldn't believe that was like your favorite workout at one point. That's crazy. It, to you, me. it wasn't though. That's a perfect example of like oh, the right. first really? time I did Barry's boot camp, I had so many roller coaster emotions of disappointment and shame and embarrassment <laughs> and wow. thought I was going to die. And I was like, so I did it once. And then I didn't do it again. I did the first time with Allison in Nashville when we were on the Untouchable tour. Whoa. Wow. And I truly thought I was like, I will never survive. I will never, I will never do this again. This was horrible. And then like three years later, I did it in London and I was like, okay, this is still horrible. 
And then I was just like, just keep pushing through it. And then eventually after like pushing through it, and yes, it's like, you know, exercise and endurance and all those things, but it flipped a whole new perspective on it where yeah. it was like, oh, I actually can persevere on this and actually get good at it. I mean, that's, man, that's no different than you and you're working out and Ryan, you and you're running with the marathon right. stuff. Like, yeah. We, I don't know that anybody early in our collective lives would refer to us as, um, you know, fitness icons, but <laughs> <laughs> no shot. No, but it just goes to show like change your perspective on it, change your approach on it. And you can have a breakthrough to get where it is that yes. is good for you. Yeah. I feel like that came into clutch with your whole career. I mean, you went from just like this songwriter on the couch in Nashville. Shy and you're girl. like, I, I don't like people. I, I'm, I don't I'm not a star. I'm just a songwriter. Yeah. They can do the songs. And then L.A. Reid was just like, that you are it. And you're like, okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I would see you. I'm like, how are you doing this? You're like, I don't know. I'm terrified. <laughs> and I can see it. Day. Watch it all about the bass music. And I watched it recently. And I was just like, oh my God, she's terrified. terrified. But only like we would know that, right? right. You right. see her music videos now and it's just like, she's running the show. But that right. all about that bit, you're just like I'm pure fear. Pure fear. And I remember someone on set was screaming, Katy Perry, because he thought I was, <laughs> was as good as Katy Perry. And I was like, fear, fear, fear. <laughs> and then I was like, be Katy Perry. Like, no, I was. It was, And it was just like you and mom. It was mom, the scariest right? day. My whole, till, the t- till the minute they were like, and that's a wrap. I was like, <laughs> Did Code you get a little red. tear out? Some tears of like, oh, I thank scream God. cried in the car with mom <laughs> oh and called dad. And I said, Dad, I did it. I'm a star. <laughs> scream cried. Awesome. <laughs> Change. Change. <laughs> Change. I love how you're just like way more comfortable with yourself and more confident too. Like I remember editing your tour videos like on the, f- the first run was a nightmare because you would literally pause it at a certain point and you're like, mm. and you're like they're going to screen grab it take this out i'm like who's gonna pause it oh the fans right at this moment yeah <laughs> that was a motion. hard that was a hard lesson now to you're learn. like yeah we're good i'm dr phil yeah, I'm dr. <laughs> yeah i've had to let go yeah. learn to live and yeah. let go it's amazing it is yeah. what it is it feels so much better yeah it's such a better way to live oh, yeah it's just Breathe not caring me. and trying to get out of your own head like as much as you think like oh people are thinking about me worrying about me no, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Yeah. Everyone's in their own head thinking the same exact thing of like, yeah. what are they thinking? What and are like, they thinking? Nobody's thinking about you. <laughs> <Nobody>. <laughs> you know? Just do your thing. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah, just change the perspective. Change what what change. your change. change what your uh what you're hoping to get out of it. Yeah. Because yes. like what you're like putting out a tour video is just giving people a glimpse. Giving people a glimpse is giving them a real look at it rather than like the super edited version of it. And when you find the comfort in that, which you did you're happier too because you're yep. like oh, i don't care yeah leave it all give them everything give, give them, them everything all. yeah i'm going through a certain kind of change right now um with this whole sobriety thing i feel how like how long has it been i, I think like well, june june 1st what is that five months i'm snapping june june july august september five October. months so five months we're in we're in we're entering the fifth month june, so four july, months august september october no october that's five we're entering the sixth month whoa Okay. You're more than halfway pregnant. So like <laughs> me okay. <laughs> um, like I was able to use this whole marathon training as, as a like a I, I like don't I can't see anybody so I can't like go out, you know. Like I, I don't know how I'm gonna like go out into the dating world sober, you know. I feel like mm. all my dates it's gonna be great. go out to like a bar, go to dinner, restaurant, I'm I'm drinking, you know. I feel like I've just use the marathon as like a big excuse. And then once it's over, I'm like, all right, I got to get out there. And it's bro, just you should go out so- with Shirley like, Temple. I <laughs> go out like to a group of girls. I be like, like hey, I'm going to buy you guys around, but none for me. I thought you were talking about like, somebody whoa. named Shirley Temple. They're, no, no. <laughs> like, Who's no, no. she? Tell me, guys. No. <laughs> so this is going to be a big they're change gonna for go, me. Oh, my God. He's ready to be a dad. Like, they're like why go, isn't this psycho? Ding, ding, ding. He's responsible. Like, <laughs> or like this guy's a fucking, <laughs> like, he's just going to no, buy no. us drinks and not Because what, half of them will want to be sober, too. Maybe. I think what you're going to realize, Devin's Ryan, name. and this is like, this will take you some living life outside of the home bubble and outside of the marathon bubble to realize it. Yeah. I'm, but you're going to, to realize your personality drinking aside is what brings yeah. people in. And you don't know how much yeah. that shines until you actually get out there and get the feedback of like, I'm amazing. <laughs> yes! But that will take like a little bit of time. Cause you haven't okay. had, you're living in your bubble of like family and marathon. 
Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you don't have any. But when you also, finish your, that, your you'll alcohol see it. didn't make you fun. No, 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 no. But it you was just—it was, it was like <laughs> it. it was a. You pl- were fun. Plus, when, when you were fucked up, you were fun as well. But it's, it's you up to a certain point. Inside. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I've had friends tell me like, like, uh, this is great for you. Like, uh, you're not socially awkward at all. You can hang out with us regardless. Yes. Like, this is right. cool. I'm like, they're like rolling face, so they're like reassuring me. Like, you're yeah. awesome. You're awesome. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I, can't, I got the it. The best thing anyone said to uh, me, I think it was Tall Glassman, our guy. Oh, he was like, you're actually as a. As an artist, you can walk in a room and not crumble, you know? He was like, there's some artists out there who we have to, like, push into an interview and be oh, like, really? smile, oh, be a yeah. person, be a kind person. And when he no told question. me that, I was like, oh, my, the rest of my career will be easy because I know how to, like, have a conversation with someone. And you have that same skill. And that brings yeah. you so far in life. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, it was just, like, more of, like, the, the habitual ritual kind of For aspect sure. of dating life in your 20s. You know, that's that's kind of what I was oh, you're, you're, you're making wait. a new groove. <laughs> I yeah, think yeah, it yeah. also, it'll help you because you you won't be blind. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Goggle, goggles are <laughs> off. Goggles are off, God, honey. I see a little too clearly. A yes. little too high def You now. could be like, mm, z- no. <laughs> yeah. Mm, z- no. Z- z- <laughs> <laughs> Bring home only like the shiny yeah. ones, you so, know, yeah. the, the gold stars. <laughs> right, 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 right. Don't <laughs> be like, who's this one? You know? <laughs> Wake up like, <laughs> yeah, right out. <laughs> It'll be but, crazy. Yeah. Is it that where the phrase Coyote Ugly comes from? Is that what that is? Have you guys seen the movie Coyote Ugly? Of course. Love so, it. Yeah, but I don't, have it. I don't know if it's real or not, but in the movie, they <laughs> describe it as Coyote Ugly means when you wake up next to someone that you didn't realize what was they looked like the night before oh. because of beer goggles, that they're so ugly that you want to bite your arm off like oh, a coyote. What? <laughs> it's just a coyote Damn. ugly. <laughs> I did not know. That's so dark. I did not know uh, that was a thing. I love We're gonna that We're going to have movie. to Google I must that. Have I, we never Great watched movie. that movie. Times. I did. You did? Can't Fight yeah. the Moonlight, Leanne Rhymes, Tyra oh, Banks. Tommy That's loves why. it. You I remember I sang that in the family movie. band. Can't Fight the Moonlight. Oh, oh that's what that's from? Oh, I thought it was just like a jam. No, dude. That should really be on Broadway. It should. Ooh, like a call. Cool. Producer, producer, producer. Right now, that I'm like, Change. This should be on Broadway. Okay, what's um, Change. What's something <laughs> that everyone wants to change right now that you haven't yet, but you want to? I want to change my wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> I've bought way too many sweaters from Target. I but need what to, does like... that mean you want to change your wardrobe? Because you're feeling hot in your body now and you want to yes, like, have a little I cling, have... cling? Yeah, I live in sweatshirts. I want to, mm-hmm. which like tis the season. But like, also, I wanna, I don't know, I wanna, like, have my stylist help me or something. Oh, okay, sorry, I, I like blacked to... out there for a second. Yeah. I was like focused on my change, but wardrobe change. Yeah, but that's you want to change your whole. What's, what's that's what's not a stupid change. Doing it. I have bad taste, I think. Okay. In clothes, so I want help. Okay. Do you have? Because you... when I shop online, I'll, I'll yeah. spend hours and I'll go, oh, oversized. You know, like I keep, or I'll get like plaid and I'm like, I don't, I can't wear plaid. <laughs> but do Dude, you it's tough being a, cool. Do you think that's a deep rooted in, not just in that you don't have taste because you know that you do have taste, but in just the comfort zone? Maybe. And maybe it's because I was born and raised on Nantucket Island where we had to shop online you and yeah. I just like yeah. never got good at it. It's not easy. Shopping bro. online is hard. And like COVID, I'm not going to go to the mall, you know, so. That's why that's I stick to Mad Happy because it's like the easiest, best online shopping I've ever done in my life. I'm like, that's going like to be fire. This, that's going to be fire. I got engaged in this. Talk about change. <laughs> like, what was that, four, five years ago? Six wow. years ago? But it's like, it's such a winner. Oh, I can't throw it away. I'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't throw it away. You don't need to but throw yeah, it away. But yeah, this is like, I like one thing and I keep it for years, which is great, but also like, change. Okay. <laughs> so that's your change. <laughs> what do you want to change? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Do I just get jacked for no reason? Yo, wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. I need to put this here on the record because it's too fucking funny. <laughs> Daryl looked at me last night and he's like, are you okay? Because, like, I'm about to get ripped. <laughs> no, he goes, he goes, I'm about to get jacked. 
like, are you going to be okay? I love that. He gets I in these head, crying, head spaces. laughing. I was like, excuse me? I was like, I can't tell if you're being serious or joking. And he's like, no, like, are you going to be okay? Because I'm going to be Jack. I got to work out with him. And why like, does he work out I'm with I'm like, me? why are you talking like this? He's like, why are you laughing? I was like, why are you talking like this is so fucking easy? And why haven't you done it before if this is your thing? No, he, said, he, he has like, said this three times. Literally. Multiple times. I was times. like, I don't want you to be like, <gasps> like walking around with big shoulders up to your ears. No, he wants that Justin Thoreau, he like, goes, ripped. He goes, no, like... Like the the our favorite guys from the movies, and it was a trap. And I was like, "Wait, so the guys that we love, like Ryan Reynolds, and and I was like, wait, you're the guy that I love. That was a trick question, and I failed. <laughs> Second of all, we're talking Ryan Reynolds and Amityville. Amityville. Oh, because he just watched Amityville Horror. Horror. Yeah, every guy that watches that, la, they, la, go, la, 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 they go, damn, I want to look like that. But every time Ryan Reynolds just talks. Like the Every time he talks about that movie, Ryan Reynolds goes, I had to work out so hard so and, I will, and I will never hard. do that for the rest of this my life. This is what Daryl wants to be. Wait, can you look up Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, Ryan in Reynolds in the horror. horror. But dude, Ryan says, he's like, he's like, I, I will never do that again. That was like hard. the hardest thing of all That's time. That's why Daryl's like, is you okay? <laughs> he watched this like, and got all D Money got duh. fired up. He goes, if That's you're listening, me. <laughs> if you're listening to this, literally Google Ryan Reynolds in the horror. Holy delish. Oh my God. It's so it right funny. <laughs> it's so funny. But I need y'all to know, yeah. like, this is Daryl. Daryl's like, oh. is this cool with you? <laughs> That's so fucking awesome. Let's manifest for Darryl him, Daryl has a great body, but like this I mean, is didn't, a he kinda get, picture, he, didn't he kind of get Didn't he kind of get there up. with the I last- I swear uh, to God, when I was like- 14 or something this is my computer screen like i swear <laughs> i've had this somewhere does he have, i mean like, he's just a perfect on his face in this movie um no he's just no, like no, super the demons. young he's got crazy oh, the, oh he has something in his the eyes de the demons makeup. are taking okay. over yeah, okay. yeah, yeah that's what's happening also um, ryan reynolds has always looked like this do you remember him so, in that sandra Bullock yeah movie? The, and and when well, i when said when i said yeah, 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 yeah. when i said oh you mean ryan reynolds in amityville horror and he goes you mean ryan reynolds in every movie and i was like absolutely <laughs> babe it is we ryan reynolds it. in every movie <laughs> he's so gorgeous i mean so, yeah d money puts in that prepare word prepare for this change everyone uh d money <laughs> is about to be shredded daryl's gonna be shredded got it yeah i was like don't be jacked be ripped i don't know you know Slim yeah, fit. yeah, yeah. Slim fit. Like Pepe. Nah, I, think that, I think that's what he's going to go. He always goes for that. But I thought he got pretty close to that with 75 hard. He can. He can do it if he eats only eggs and bacon every day and does <laughs> 75 hard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, we did the food sensitivity test on oh, Amazon. Yeah. I paid like a hundred bucks, and Daryl's came back he and told he, me his is messed up. His is crazy. I'll know. What we all it? have like we all have like little mild things like eggs and chicken and blah blah blah. Um, he had moderate, which is more allergic to almonds yeah. and egg whites. So that is another change oh. for him because he, he's been slugging almond milk almond. for yep. years. Yep. Now Wait. he's got to cut that. Egg whites? So egg not whites. the yolk. He can have yeah, the yolk. Mine the came up. I'm, I'm mild, mildly affected by egg whites. Though. But he's up in the yellow. That's so interesting that I can I, just see the whites. I, I, it that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. Those, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, but, I'm happy for D Money though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, changed. I'm rooting for him. We're I want to work out way, with him. We're changing the way um, we think of food and like, yeah, get full. Obviously, nutrition health. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit better with that. After that interview um, with, with Just Thrive, Just Thrive, and Christy, mm -hmm. um, specifically when she was telling me like yeah, those cheat meals, not ideal, and they did affect Ooh. me. So the pizza and the wings and the ice cream every Sunday was just all the work that I had done that Saturday would just get crushed with all that yeah. food is all inflammation. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I was just, I didn't realize that's what I was doing. So I, like inflammation is the devil. It is. It destroyed my <laughs> body. So we, you know, we cut that part you of the did? lifestyle. Yeah. I haven't had pizza and wings really since, since two days ago when dad made you some pizza. Oh fuck. You're an idiot. <laughs> I don't count homemade <laughs> pizza. I don't Change count. <laughs> I don't count like a couple slices of homemade pizza. I I'm talking like have I would. Pizza. Shit! <laughs> I forgot. Well, I'm sure that, but that's different. It's all about moderation. It's different than probably what you used to have, which is yeah. Like, yeah I was getting yeah. like a large a pie, pie to yourself, and, and wings, he couldn't have pizza without wings. the wings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's a weird thing. No, I had a couple slices with G homemade GT. I can't turn it down. Okay, okay. my bad. No, I, had, I hadn't a, done that in a couple different. weeks though. That's but have we all noticed that Ryan literally aged backwards like five oh, years? Oh yeah, Ryan's glowing. Glowing. Your, your skin good. and your face. You're like, oh, Ryan. Yes. Yeah. Look Ryan at your close up. Good. Give him a wink. 
Well, I feel like I'm a little tired today because I game last night, but uh, <laughs> but uh, and the OC, yeah. I've been using Osea products on my face. Oh, me too. They tighten, man. Do they you do. Feel the tightening moisturizer. It's that, like seaweed Oof. ocean. And I only wash my face with it in the shower. Yeah, in the shower. And you can like feel it tingling, and I'm like, oh, I love that because I know it's working. I remember Christy told me about. She was like, "What's your favorite holiday?" And like for eating, and I was like, "Thanksgiving." She's like, "And what do you eat?" Yeah. And I was like, "I just don't stop." <laughs> I eat everything in sight nonstop until the moment I feel like I can breathe again. I will eat more and I will yeah. never stop eating. And she's like, what did she say? Okay. Well, she was like, let me put a little perspective. This was like May of this year, which is what? Eight months ago. She was like, you can work out every single day and follow a nutrition plan from now until Thanksgiving. And if you eat the way that you just described, you would eat on Thanksgiving. You will erase all of that. And I was what? Like, I was like, okay. Oh wait, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's you, not I mean, fair. I thought the, like you could do one day of damage, and then it's like, you, but yeah, my the level of damage because I was being very transparent with Christine. And the, Christine, <laughs> oh, and you like so the level of damage, damage was another level of damage. It was like my own turkey, and oh. like, <laughs> yeah, gotcha. so 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 much. But it was a good perspective moment of like, okay. It is, it comes down to moderation, but that was also, that is a, that's a total, just like <laughs> mental change. Did you hear that, that noise, Tommy? That? Did you just rip one? <laughs> no. Oh, the window's open. Can you hear that? Oh, <laughs> New York. He's in New York I'm City. New York. Oh my God. That was really it's a, a chain. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I was like, yeah. Tommy. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> you also like went like this and I was oh. like, he just lifted his booty. <laughs> That's a nice view you got there. That looks pretty pleasant. It's gorgeous. How it's how is the nice weather outside. over there actually? Because I gotta get. I'm, I'm flying out it's Thursday. Cold. It's, it's cold. cold. Okay. It's cold today. Yeah. I'm running at noon though, so I'll be okay. Talk about change, bro. You're gonna be the only person in the history of our family who's ridden. Who's ridden? <laughs> <laughs> who's ridden? <laughs> ridden a marathon. Ran a marathon. Ran a marathon. Yeah. You'll yeah. probably be the last. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Daryl's nah. gonna get jacked and run it with me. Daryl I'll do it, I'll, totally I'll do it one do more this. time if Daryl wants to do it with me. But he I runs. will never run a marathon again after this. This training was insane. Oh, really, bro? I, for five months, it's I had to. So much. I, even though, like, it was nice to cut it out it everybody. Happen? It was nice oh. to cut out everybody, but I literally had to because every weekend was just run and rest, and then like, throughout the week, run, run, run. By do the time the weekend that, came, like, if you stay fit, though, do you think you'd have to like train again for another marathon? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a whole different, really? it's a whole different thing, bro. To get your body to run, I guess I'll really like, never do fifteen it to twenty miles casual, like casually, it's your it's your crazy. body's in a whole different level. I, it's maybe we could do half marathons. That yeah, counts. Yeah, yeah, that does count. I'd be down. There's a couple by us: Orange County, Malibu. Oh, I'm down. Thirteen and a half miles, easy peasy. Ooh, why the half? Because it's half of twenty six. Right. Right. Wait, wait. Did I just? Yeah, do you're that right. Wrong? No, you're right. Yeah. No, you're wrong. That's no, 27. I'm wrong. That's 27. That's <laughs> I was 27. Like, I'm going to hold it out. How Why? many miles is a marathon? Is it 27? I thought it was 26. How long is a half marathon? Doesn't God matter, it. guys. Uh, math. Change. Uh, change. Uh, <laughs> change. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's hard that my cousin's going through right now. My um, One of my cousins, Corinne, she's in college. She's about to graduate college, and she either has to like go into the real world yeah. and like, get a job. Yeah. Or she's like, might go back for one more year, get my master's, you know? Yeah, I mean, some people are just like, I love school. This is going to work out. Might as well just stay in longer and get my and master's. And I don't know anything about college. So I was like, if you go back and get your master's, you get like better jobs automatically. She's potentially, like, yeah. potentially, yes. So if, I was if like, it's do a good, it. If it's a good degree from a good school. But I know, people, I know people that have gotten their master's and it just really means nothing. <gasps> I just think oh, no. I, it, uh, so much of it comes down to like, what you want to do yes literally make a yeah. decision for yourself don't make like don't <clears throat> i think if she had a vision for what she wanted to do that she needs a master's for or that a master's yeah. would help her with then absolutely go do that i yeah. think she does she has people, an idea well she's going back for business or something yeah getting your master's think, degree in business decision decision making can be very debilitating for a lot of people because you feel like whatever decision you make next is your last decision. It's the last thing that you'll be able to do. And whatever the result is of that decision is the end all be all. When yeah. in reality, yeah. make a decision, 
if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, okay, yeah. make another decision. But yeah. I, ha- I, I have spec- struggled with that Change. It's a, for it's hard. <laughs> like since I was 18, for sure. Like it's yeah. always panic. Like, okay, I got to go to college. And then when I go to college, what am I, what's my yeah. major? And then I, I yeah. wish I just, if I don't make the right decision this moment, is my yeah. life ruined? Also, I don't know. It wasn't in the end of the world changing I your major. I think it's uh, bullshit that like an 18 year old has to decide that. It like, definitely, like, it's a societal thing that we all experience and feel because yeah. you feel like in that moment you have to make a decision to set up your entire life when in reality yeah you are going to change your mind every six dying. months and every yep. year and then every decade and then you're going to be in a career yeah. that you love and then you're going to be like i'm going to do something else or i'm going to go somewhere else or i'm going to go try this or i'm going to yeah. it doesn't matter i think literally everyone i've talked to in their late 30s 40s that are doing something they're like i this wasn't my plan literally. Like, oh god no no so yeah, yeah. So I feel like it's hard when I feel like when they ask high schoolers like junior year, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you going to be like? What do you want to go to college for? I feel like that's asking a kindergartner like, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> An astronaut. An astronaut. Like, I feel yeah. like it's the same shit. I mean, yeah. not no. Well, it goes back to like the I think I think in general, like higher education is in for a massive overhaul because the yes. idea of 20 years ago where. You go to high school, you graduate, you go to college for four years, then you get a job that you have for 40 years. That's dead. And I think Change. also the idea that you <laughs> have to have a college degree in order to make a living is also dead because college is just too expensive. Yeah. So like you don't, you Change. no longer have this guarantee of being able to go to college, get a degree, and then go have a job that will pay off your college. You have people in debt for decades and it is not, it does not help them. So like that whole system is evolving. It's got to be reworked. And a lot of like so many people are, taking like what would be referred to as like a gap year after high school yep. to decide like, what do I want to do? What do I want to experience? Cause that's, you don't have to just go right into college. If you have a vision or you want to great, you don't have to, but like it used to be so ingrained as a, you have to do it. Continuing You're your be- education and learning something. That's great. That's crucial to something, but that doesn't mean college. That can be a vocational school that can go be yeah. training and learning something creative that can go, be working at a publishing company in Nashville. Like it can be anything you want it to be. You're going to be the greatest dad there ever was. hundred <laughs> percent. It's daddy. Uh... <laughs> I wish my daddy said that. <laughs> he well, kind of did. Our parents are cool. Yeah. My wanted. dad's like, go do what you want to do. And that's your college. Like go learn. Yeah. Just go learn in the world. Yeah. While doing it. Yeah. Change. Change. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing with you on time, Tommy? We're good. We're reaching our limit good. here. I don't know what time it is. Sorry. No, it's eleven fifty seven for us. Yeah, I'm good. I what about minutes. I'm looking at the different How, types well, of changes. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about I think you're you're doing this very well and it's very impressive to me, this whole being a working mom in your field, you know, being, you know, the celebrity, the pop star, the top chef host, change. you know, I think you, you turned, this is, it's pretty impressive. I'm very impressed. Oh, I'm, you mean like how I'm thriving? Yes. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Um, Also be impressed. Uh, Look in the mirror, like who am I? Um, But also like wouldn't have it any other way. Thriving. Right. Some weeks are hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last no, I've week. S- I've see, I see you. Last week was oh. hard. Plus the Mama COVID. is run down. Mama's run down. Mama's got pimples on my face. Oh, really? Can't see him. Make it looks great. today. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Had a COVID scare, was exposed, but like tested every day and put my mask on and didn't kiss my family for five days. That was tough. Mm, that was right. But dodged yeah, a bullet, yeah. didn't have it. Uh, so wear your motherfucking masks. It's still very real. Um, but yeah, we're still crushing and thriving and I'm literally on to the next. I'm like... You know what? I'm gonna write this book, and then I'm gonna do a cookbook. Like, bitch has dreams, and I'm nothing can stop me. <laughs> and I told, I talked to my trainer today, Rebecca, of like, it was really giving birth. Like, or the C-section is like, I, I can was, do anything. Yeah, I can do. Anything. So once because you got through that, anything and that you, scares and you me, were I go, like, were you pet? You were petrified of getting the C-section, right? Like oh, that was a big. I it was weirdly like I think I was in shock because yeah. I I strolled in like. Well, not gonna feel <laughs> it was anything. Kinda, yeah, it was kind of. Like, you, you did seem kind of like. Oh, I was okay. way too calm. I was yeah. way. They took our picture before we walked in. They're like, "Last time being not parents," and I was like, mm. "And but but yeah." In the surgery, I was like, 
oh, this felt like, like it felt exactly like the fear of skydiving for me if I ever Whoa. had to do it. Oh, it was wow. literally like, oh, I might die. Like it was, it was pretty spooky. Yeah, and I, I just, just had like... Daryl, I had Daryl and I was holding him like this. <laughs> Did you like, squeeze his hand Darryl to death? To death. Wow. Death. And we were just singing and he was smiling and I was so, like. So, and it was after that you were just like, I can conquer anything. I can conquer anything. I get a migraine, I go, I've had a C-section. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. is nothing. <laughs> Does it make I you look back like on any old stuff where you're like, I can't believe I cared about that or I can't believe I like everything. I'm, I do the only everything. part I look back <laughs> that I that I look back and I'm like, that poor girl was my early career where I was like on the road every day with bronchitis and like mm-hmm. was just overworked and like had no family with me on the road and was alone. That girl was sad. That girl went through it. Yeah. She had no idea, dude. I woke up at like 5 a.m. to do a, a press morning thing all day long, which is like, hop to YouTube, go perform, hop to Amazon, go perform, hop to... <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know there was a YouTube building. Like, Yeah, me neither. <laughs> dude, I had no idea what I was going into. And the night before, like, I was like, I think I sing tomorrow. I don't know. I got drinks with my uncle <laughs> and I mixed like beer with whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I woke up throwing up everywhere <laughs> and I was like, I have to do what today? And they were like, sing. And I was like... <clears throat> because you know i'm a, like <laughs> i was alone i had no guidance i had nothing and that's Pulled if i off. could go change i would have like held her hand a little bit and been like hey you're about to run a marathon yeah like, wake up Dude, didn't know like the, how hard work was the way you i mean you just described that as her and she as a different human yeah because like, she was you, we're talking about you, past megan folks sorry, yeah she. no no i got it I, i'm just saying like do you well just the people don't listening. identify with her at all yeah yeah like i like 19 through 21 i don't know i mean like we're getting those. close to like 10 years ago you know Shut like the but, fuck but people up. but <laughs> people <laughs> change like you literally change. do change and i think i don't like the phrase of like oh you've changed like change is good you want to become yeah. someone yeah, else you can't just stay the great. same person you were a decade ago like i don't I, it's you you gotta switch it up also for the most part when you change you change into a better person well hopefully hopefully, hopefully quote in up most situations you changed yeah. into the most perfect person we're on our way we're still it's a working progress j trains we're on our way climbing that hill <laughs> he, he used to fight with me and say i will never lower myself to produce pop music and i had him producing Jojo Siwa well, pop he started seeing last some night. paychecks, you know? No, he, I don't know if he has. <laughs> he has, but seen, he listen, has seen some paychecks. He's, he's reproducing the song I wrote when I was like 12. Sick. I was young. I was like 15. And it's like so like yeah, yeah, Disney yeah, yeah, pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's loving life. That's awesome. And I'm like, you're changing. You're changing. you're changing. And he's an amazing producer. And he's like, oh, I see it now. I see what you wanted me yeah. to do for so long. How do you do, Megan, being the one <laughs> in this conversation that's in a relationship, how do you do change with a partner? Ooh. Change with a partner is amazing because, I mean, if you have the right partner, I guess. But yeah. Daryl and I are constantly like, I feel like we're pushing each other in the direction of like, be better, be better. Nice. In a nice way. Yeah. Like, even if he does something that bugs me, I'll say like, hey, I love you so much. But th- that's the whole thing is conversation and like communication. Mm. I'm like, that doesn't feel good when you say it like that. And he's like, oh, I hear it now. I got you. And like, that's how we take care of each other. Um, and even in my health and fitness, he'll say, I'll take the baby. You go work out, you know? And cool. this morning my mom was here and I was like, hey, mom, you watch the baby and Daryl's going to go work nice, out. <laughs> and nice. I showered. But, Clutch. but him saying like, I'm going to get ripped. I'm like, you got it. I'm here for you. Let's rock. Yes, I laughed at first, but I was like, we <laughs> I can mean, do He can pull it off, dude. Because he can. He's got he's dad also, strength now. Yeah, he's also a guy who like poops two pounds in the morning. Like, it's bullshit. <laughs> See, like he didn't, he didn't say it. He, now I'm laughing because he didn't say it to me verbatim. Like, I'm going to get jacked. But he was just like, I kind of want to get the... Uh, electric f-150 but i i know i'm a little guy i'm not like i'm not like big enough for it but i what think i can that? get there what's an electric well, i have no F-150. idea what words you just it's said it's a truck f-150 four f-150 no you have to tell me this because i can't tell if he's joking with that no, he's, too? he's just like he's like I, i'm a little guy but if i get if i get bulkier i think Stop. i could pull off driving it i'm like so now i'm like oh he's trying to get Bro, jacked his birthday is <laughs> look at that thing's sick oh no dude that truck is dope okay his birthday's in the summer it's a fully and he was electric like, truck 
Yes. Tommy, fully I've been meaning F-150. to talk to you about this because yeah. I don't know if this is a worth it purchase. Um, but like, <laughs> I would say 100% worth it. But you I know don't me, know, I love I don't know if he's been joking, but he was like, I want a Chuck for my next birthday. And I'm like, change. <laughs> I was like, maybe Chuck. Like, <laughs> why? I mean, it sounds like he's dad? talking to both of you about it. So I'm not sure. Fuck, if it's I think a it's joke. real it now. It sounds real. Yeah. It sounded right, like. Let's give it to the range. You want to drive a truck? That's. I mean, yes, I'm down. How do I? Although do the Range that? Rover is my favorite car in the whole world, but that that truck will be sick, and we'll like. Oh, it looks share really it nice. It looks nice, right? Oh, it's. God it's damn it! I'm phenomenal. buying a truck. I never thought I'd have a truck. It's it, dude. It's it's like so Nantucket F one fifty. Change. It scares me. I'm gonna do it. Change. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, you guys. I feel like. Yeah, you, you guys are constantly changing. For you know, the what better. was a big change was bringing Daryl into our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was change. We morphed him for the house. The household had a new man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another man, a very different man than you, yes. hardcore mass holes. <laughs> A very soft, soft kind theater boy. Theater boy <laughs> yeah. Who w- worshipped the ground I stepped upon. Yes. That yeah. was a change for y'all. You were like, you've never seen anyone love me so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, like, I feel like we, in the beginning, he was, like, pretty lazy, low-key. Like, he complains about Justin with the dishes, but he was the first one to start <laughs> he, all that nonsense. No, he can be a slob. Yeah, a slob. But then, like, but he's now he's seen the light. He gets up at five, and he, like, does all oh, the dishes. Oh, he's a whole new person. He's a whole new man. Again. Also- change yeah <laughs> also i and i tell i like a, a photo shoot i went to the the girls there like the girls who were styling me they saw daryl like prepare my food and like feed me and take care of me even though the baby was there and they were like how and i was like oh you train them and i <laughs> <laughs> like joked i was like yeah you see you just train but no he changed he like evolved train them. He's like, well, you train puppy him. Puppy. Oh, puppy. <laughs> they loved it they're cackling jesus but I got a good one. I got me a good one. Never settle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never settle. Never settle. Ryan. You'll find a girl who will like be like, babe, let's do the marathon in Hawaii. <laughs> <I'd be> like, <laughs> yeah. Did Far down it? the road, I'll maybe I'll do another one, but I'm good for a while. Let's get through the first one. Yeah. See how yes. you feel. It'll be one of my get through yeah. the first one. Yeah, I gotta get through it. I saw it, you know, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, I this thought you Thursday. meant girlfriends. I was like, oh no. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. We're no, already breaking marathon. up with her. The marathon. I gotta just get through the marathon. Marathon. Oh my god. Finish I'm so that excited first, for you. And then I'll have my You know what's changed for me? Conquer everything. I'm gonna have to have four dogs again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been nice for you, huh? Uh-huh. Three dogs have been living in his little I've teeny apartment. I've been taking care of three dogs. That was a big change for me. That, I was like, I just yeah. got to take care of myself. And I'm like, got to take care of these dogs. <laughs> I was like, Daryl, you understand the dogs are coming back? So we're going to have four dogs again? And he was like, no. I was like, yes. Yeah, Daryl, I'll be outside. He, goes, he, he like no. shuts the door. He's like, leave them out. I'm like, these dogs are about to live in this Dude, house. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't get it. He's like, no, we can leave them. Got these he goes, dogs. we'll just like, they'll be in Ryan's place. I'm like, no, <laughs> they need human contact. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be good. So, Wait, how long are you going to New York for? Like a week. Probably, I think it's like six days. Thursday to Tuesday. I get back Tuesday. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I want a time to adjust and then uh, like a day to just lay down and uh, try not to And he's going to be staying with Jordan, staying with Jojo. my Jojo. Jojo's hooking oh, me up. And she's, she's running, running a marathon f- with you, isn't Yep. She? She's running and with, with me. With her boyfriend, with ben. ben. Yep. And she's going to feed this boy carbs after. Yeah. I, I'm mm, so I'm jealous excited. of that because she knows how to eat. Yes, like, she does. She's a skinty girl, but she got yeah, That's why we're best friends. Days. I'm hyped. <sighs> Anyways, is... Tommy, you have to go on a meeting. Change. 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 <laughs> but this was Wait, Tommy, what do you want to change about yourself? Change. Change. <laughs> change. Um, I'm trying, I want, I'm work. It's as an active working toward changing and actively trying to change the, I oftentimes create like, I'm going to start eating healthy on Tuesday. I'm going to mm. start dating and the new year. I'm going to like creating these fake and unnecessary like barriers and schedules yeah. and these things to like kind of make excuses. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to wipe all of that away and just approach things more with like a, just do it. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to do, do it. I'm just eating better. I'm just dating. I'm just, yeah. you know, how are you here, dating on on, um, on apps? <clears throat> well, you can't date on tour. 
Oh, so yeah, that one right. isn't one that I can that's totally on pause. control, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I can control, you know, fitness and what I'm eating. Like, you know, I can do three days in a row of just eating too much and be like, all right, Tuesday, I'm going to start as opposed to just like, I just eat, you know, eat what you need to I eat. I think eat I'm so nice. good. I'm so good with that. Like I never cheat because I have on Wednesdays, I get popcorn and every three weeks I get pizza mm. night. Like I mm-hmm. set rewards and like we go to that so you day. you can flip it. You just set your yeah. reward days. Yeah, that's right. Your and every night with my days. chocolate, I'm like, oh my God, you did a whole day of eating well. Mm-hmm, little treat. <laughs> yeah, every day, every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. <laughs> I mean, I, I was like younger. We'll refer to him back in the 20s days. Like he was petrified of all things change. Yeah. And he would always fight against it at every moment, even though he would end up loving it after. So the 30s, Tommy, the current me, um, I just said I'm, I'm much more, I embrace change significantly more. I can like yeah. kind of like get uncomfortable working through it, but I've now embraced that as a good thing rather than a scary thing. Yeah. And not that we're old at all because we're all so damn young. Yeah, so but young. It's, it's you get every single year I get more of like, oh, life is so short. Do yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah. Do it now. Do it now. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Jump into it. Jump in through Very it. Change. 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 Love you, Change. Tommy. I love Change. this episode. I love you, Tommy. Love you guys. Thanks for giving us an hour Thank of your you so whole much. day. Yes. I <laughs> appreciate you. We worship Always. you so much. I can't Fans wait to sit you. on that couch in real life. Yeah. It's cozy. Yes. It's it, ginormous, it too. I can't wait for you to see it's it. It's a cloud. Okay. Well, we love you. Right. Thank you so love much you for being here. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Love, love. Bye. Man, that was great. I love Tommy. I think it's TikTok time. Is it Tiki Tok time? I think it's TikTok time. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. I'm working on a song. We're going to make a song for this little little yeah, yeah. jingle. TikTok, 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 on the car. No, okay. Not that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? It's been a minute since I've sat in front of a notes app list, so I thought to myself, what the hell? Today, we're going to go over the list of rules I have for my partner. Number one, be a little ugly. Not fully ugly. Not hideous, just like a little <laughs> bit ugly. Because if I ever found out that people were asking around how I was able to pull you, I would immediately fall to my knees, begin sobbing, probably violently throw up, and then have to go home. Uh, number two, be funny but quiet. Okay, I have a feeling <laughs> we're going to talk a lot if we're in a relationship, so that can get old quick. So if you're going to say something, make it count. You know, make me giggle, make me laugh, and then stop <laughs> talking. That's the same. He's the master. Number three, that. holidays are food dependent. I don't care if your family's cooler than mine. I don't care if my family is cooler than yours. You can hate your grandmother with all of your guts if Nana can make a mean mac and cheese. <laughs> That is where we will be on Thanksgiving. Thank Dude, you very he much. talks so Number fast. four, no face, no case for at least six months. I prefer a year, but this is me compromising. I will not be on your socials. You will not be on mine. This is just in case it crashes. And That's it. No face, no case. Up. And last but not least, number five, this one is not negotiable. It is written in stone. I cannot stress it enough. If you ever ask me to make a couple's prank video on the spot, we are done. I'm getting my shit. I'm leaving. Do not try to contact me. I will block your phone number. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. I love him so much. He's the shit. (laughs) Holy fuck. Also, very good stuff, dude. I took some notes there. No, like the whole like no social media for six months. Just easy clean up. No face, no case. No face, no case. Forensics. That should be mandatory in every relationship. That's just funny, bro. Oh good my one. god, that's good. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Oh man, okay. I love you guys. I appreciate everyone listening. And uh, if you're not already, you can watch on YouTube. If yes. you haven't seen Megan as Doctor Phil, I uh, highly recommend. Dude, working on a pod on YouTube, you gotta see. Gotta see it. Megan as Doctor Phil. That Except was the greatest, most terrifying costume of all time oh and check out my socials where me and daddy face i mean me and daddy dr <laughs> phil facetime daddy, daddy. <laughs> daddy me and dr phil facetime and um yeah we talk about it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i think he was so like cute. honored and terrified yeah yeah a mix of both i was like i want your skin on my skin i want your skin on my skin <laughs> okay so that's working on it pod working all it socials pod. Uh, subscribe smash yeah, that like subscribe. And subscribe please catch me on twitch you already know ryan trainer he be cooking yeah we be yeah we got <laughs> chef gt up now we're cooking. <laughs> um yeah okay i'll do it eventually but yeah <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to play spooky games on this Twitch soon, so check it out. Okay, we love you. Thanks for watching. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Working on, working on.